I'd uh, share a few of my snakes with you. Do a little update for those of you that have watched before in the past. This is Callie. My pastel. Coral Glow Pastel. Now let's just knock on the top. Let him know that I plan on pulling him out. And he's such a good boy. Yeah. Um, reached out and grabbed him right in front of his head. I don't have a bad python. And yes, I house in tubs. A lot of people say they don't like tubs and that I don't like to view my animals, but actually I do like to view my animals, but I like my animals when I take them out to be like this. And people that end up putting them in tanks end up having a lot of problems, like feeding wise, feed strikes. I don't have any feed strikes. All mine eat. I handle on feed day. They're all the same temperament. Out of how many we got? Six? We got six. And this is the temperament on all six of my snakes. And I'm a newbie. But I watch my snakes. I see how they interact with me. And they're all just like this. This is Callie. And Callie's in Repti Chip. I wish I never went and put Refugee Chip in Callie's, in Callie's tub. This is how I put him back. Ooh, where are you going? There you go. There you go, bud. I just point him to that hide and then let him go. I wish I never put him on Refugee Chip because once I put him on Repti Chip, I tried to put him back on paper towel and he went on food strikes and he was, he got, a, he weren't defensive, he was aggressive. And I know there's no aggressive ball pythons, but he, he was, and it was because he didn't like being on the paper towel after I put him on Refti Chip. So anyway, there's Kelly. He's a good boy. He was my first snake. All right, we'll take Thunder out real quick. Tonight is feed night, but I do want to show Thunder. And he is my Banana Lessa Moja, Moja, Mojave height, uh, possible height clown. And then he is what a gorgeous boy. What a gorgeous boy. And he's got just a little hide because he's just a little guy. But he's on rat pups. All mine are on frozen thawed. And he's got some spider in him because he's got a slight head wobble and he does corkscrew. Which is a bummer because I bought him to breed. But I'm not going to be able to breed him. I just can't do that. I don't want to take a chance that I pass any of that on to any other snake. But he's still gorgeous and we're still happy to have him. He's uh, actually got black eyes with red pupils. And I don't want to keep him out for too, too long because he'll be feeding at 10 o'clock at night. I always feed at 10 o'clock around 10 or after. Be more active at night, so we tend to feed better at night. But he's awesome. Little little Egypt Royals is where I got him. And here we go. He's gonna do a little bit of this corkscrew for you. See that Spencer? If you're watching, that's such a bummer. See, he's such a bummer. But he's a great eater. He sheds full sheds. I mean. He's got great temperament. I mean, he's an awesome snake, but I just, I, I won't breed him just for the simple fact of the corkscrew and the little bit of head shake that he has. I just, I couldn't do that. See? But anyway, that's Thunder, and he's still a good boy. Like I said, we're still glad to have him. It just a, it's just kind of a, a little bit of a bummer to us because we was hoping to breed him. 
but I won't now just for the simple fact. But he is pretty. And he's a good eater, he sheds good. Alright, now I won't get Captain out. Captain is another little little Egypt Royals where I got him. And Captain is a black pewter. Hundred percent height clown. He's one of my favorites, for sure. He's he's just beautiful. And here he is, the man of the hour. Oh, good boy. I'm gonna do a whole day. He's got a little bit of stuck shed underneath his chin, but look at that. Look at his colors. He is gorgeous. And he's got great talent on another snake. Look. Juveniles. Oh, juveniles can be bitey. I don't have a bitey snake. I haven't even had one yet. They're just amazing. And I know it's due to the tubs. They all ate within two to three days of, of receiving. And they always tell you to wait a week. Well... Two, three days, and my snakes all ate here at home. And they all shed with him. Jeez, what, a week or two of having them. And he's already gotten a lot bigger since we've gotten him. We've only had him, what, about three weeks, I think. Three weeks to a month, I guess. But he's just beautiful. I mean, look at, look at the markings right down. Right down to the tip of his tail. Just amazing. Yeah, that's probably not going to come out very good. And you see the little bit of stuck shed there. I'm going to work on that later tonight. But. What? Huh? After three weeks. Not very head shy. But again, all of them. Alright. Now. I'd love to show you Caesar. Caesar is my uh, male pinstripe. But he just ate two nights ago. And I give them three full days after eating. They say 48 hours. But I, three just makes me feel better. Because when I take my snakes out, this is the... This is the... This is the shortest period of time I ever take my snakes out. Normally they're out for quite a while, and they still got that same temperament. This, we're going to go up on Lightning's top size because he's got some chunk to him, and I just feel bad. He, to me, looks like he needs more room. So this is my big cub setup, and this is for our second, our rather favorite, the wife's favorite. Keep up right here. I'll use his water bowl from here. Hi, buddy. He's such a good boy. See him? <laughs> he says, Hi, Dad. What you doing? What you doing, Dad? Sure, I'd love to come out. I'd love to come out and hang out with you, Dad. There he is, my super mojave. Oops, he's a little camera shy. But he is awesome. He's, he's got awesome temperament. Ha, ah, baby. He can talk. Ha, ah, baby. Yes. But anyway, he is lightning. And I got him from balling with pythons. And no, I didn't clean my tubs for videos. I work from home, so it's easy for me to keep right up on it. And my snakes are funny because besides the humidity spike, when they go to the bathroom, shows up on, on the thermostats. Uh, not thermostat, but their uh, thermometers and uh, high, high whatever they are. But anyway, and uh, they'll all be on top of their hides. <laughs> They're so clean. 
We laugh because I've got clean snakes. They don't like being anywhere near the crap that's or pee that's in the bottom of there. He's got blue eyes. And this is another, he's definitely going to be a breeder. We're definitely going to breed lightning. So check him out, Spencer. Along with pythons. I got three more snakes coming that I got through falling with pythons. Just waiting for two more meals of frozen thawed and then they'll be on their way. But there, yeah, there he is. There you go, buddy. Check out your new home. I'm actually super excited about this. Cause look at how big he is. He is a beautiful boy. And we just love him. We just love him. This is what we use. And they seem to work pretty good. The only bad part is I hate it because they're in Celsius, but they tell you the humidity and the ambient temperature. And that's it. Throw the top on. Missed it a little bit just because it is a big area. Normally the water bowl is normally the water bowl is enough to keep the humidity up. And there we go. There goes lightning. And his new tub. Stat six. This is empty tub. All right, now wash my hands. All right, and we'll take Cleo out. Come here, girl. Hey, hey, you gotta come out. Come here. Come here, girl. Come here. Come on. Come on, girl. Oh, come on. You come right out, no more. Huh? You gonna come out? There we go. There we go. Come on, baby girl. Come on, 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 girl. Normally, I let her come out to me, but for the sake of shooting this video, I'll take her out. And that's Cleo. Short for Cleopatra. My baby girl. And she is awesome. Another favorite. We love all of our snakes. I don't even know why I say we really have favorite because I hold them all. If I hold one, I hold them all that night. But some some just do better being out longer than others. And she's definitely one of them. She, she likes being out. She'll be out to, from now till the time we go to bed now, which I mean, it's nice and all, <laughs> but you can't always be walking around with a snake or sitting around with a snake. And she just soon be out all the time, all day, till we go to bed. And even when I go to bed, she just soon be out too, if somebody was up. But she's really a good girl. She was a rescue. Well, not really a rescue. They rehome. It was just a rehome. The girl said she lost interest and had her since she was a baby. She's six years old. 
she's over 1800 grams and she it's okay yes i know that scared you huh that scared you it's okay but i don't have a bad snake she came in this tank because otherwise i'd have her in a tub honestly because i guarantee you the person that i got it from went through trials and tribulations with that tank getting her to eat and getting her to settle down and she's old enough now i mean nothing 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 bothers her the dogs don't phase her she's been on the floor the dog's walking around she'll crawl across the couch over towards over to the dogs and she's really a beautiful snake too look how shiny she is she is the shiniest snake i've got honestly but anyway I figured I'd share my snakes with you. Next time, uh, hopefully we can show you the pinstripe. Show you Caesar. All right. Well, cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching.